Hello everyone, uh, I am Khubaishi. I am currently a third year undergraduate at IIT Kanpur pursuing material science and engineering. And today we have with us Siddhan, who scored 168 rank in JE Advanced 2021 and is currently pursuing computer science and engineering in IIT Kanpur. So Siddhant is today here with us to share his some strategies, some part of the journey which would really help us to improve ourselves and hum thoda better perform kar payenge. Jitne bhi jai wale bachche hain, unko help me like. So starting with Siddhant, apna thoda introduction do. My name is Siddhant Jakhotia. My father's name is Shantanu Sirotia. I am Mumbai's guy. I am from Bharatiya Pratyogi Ki Sansthan Kharagpur. I have done the Sanyog Pravesh Pariksha 2021. कर मैंने यहां संगणक विज्ञान एवं अभियांत्रिकी में प्रवेश किया है मेरी मुख्य अभिरुचियां किताबें पढ़ना एवं चिड़ी बल्ला खेलना है ओके सो दैट वाज अ फॉर्मल इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ आई टी कानपुर एंड आई होप दैट एवरीवन गेट्स इट बेसिकली इट्स अ हिंदी वर्जन ऑफ व्हाटएवर आई जस्ट सेड सो स्टार्टिंग विद द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन जब तुम लाइक जब तुम्हारा रैंक आया था जब तुम्हारा रिजल्ट आया था व्हाट वाज योर रिएक्शन एंड जब तुम आईआईटी में सेलेक्ट हो गए थे लाइक आईआईटी कानपुर सीएससी जी Quite, you're quite uncertain about what will happen, where you'll end up, what ex that exact number will be. But when I saw that rank, yeah, like the period of uncertainty had finally ended, and I, like, it was, uh, like a dream that I had for two years of going into IIT was finally going to become true now after a very long and hard journey. So, did you take a drop in your twelfth year? I did not. Okay. So, what is your experience of your initial coaching years? Like, what did you struggle through, and कैसे did you really kick off start preparation for J? Uh, I actually, when I started preparation, I lagged behind a lot, and uh, there was a brief period in which I told my parents that I cannot handle this and I want to give up. Uh, so. But yeah, like with proper mentoring and uh, support from my teachers, I was able to manage it. So uh, initially, the thought of giving up was something that I had in my mind regularly. But after some time, I start getting, I started to get the hand of things, uh, hang of things, and it, yeah, it worked out uh, well. Yeah. And what was your experience of quality over quantity, like? Whenever we are preparing, the number of questions, the number of hours we put in, what would you prefer? Uh, like uh, I believe it depends upon what you want as your next goal. So if you want to improve upon your speed, then like let's say if you're preparing for JE mains, uh, uh, like it's a very you're very close to JE mains. You need to have good speed. You need to have a decent understanding. Of the topics, but it need not be as clear as as it's required for advanced. So, uh, like if you want to uh, get better, get faster at solving questions, then quantity matters more. If you want to uh, get a better understanding of the subject and like being able to apply the concepts, the fundamentals more uh, in a better way, then the quality of the questions and the material matters. So, any special trick? Or some habit which you followed during your JEE preparation. I revised my class notes a lot, and I think that has helped me. Like the syllabus of JEE advanced is quite vast as well as JEE means. So, uh, some people I've seen some people so what actually like how did you revise your classmates um so i uh, like i was experimenting i've tried two or three different ways some ways i did not uh, use at all so like i initially i used to just read the class notes sometimes when i'm just free for 5 to 10 minutes and i have nothing to do sometimes when the professor is late and i have some extra time so i used to 
to uh, revise the class notes then and sometimes uh, i used to spend most of my sundays uh, relaxing a bit and revising my class notes so uh, my sunday was mainly devoted to that because uh, usually my coaching used to keep uh, mock tests on sundays and after writing papers for 3 hours or 6 hours it used to be quite exhausting so i just relax a bit so that is how i, I how i used to do it and uh, like yeah sometimes i uh, i just read the notes sometimes i used to write some formulae or main points of or concepts along with them uh so yeah i've tried two or three different ways so i used to make short notes also sometimes but uh, uh bad practice that i had was that i never used them ever again uh, but yeah writing things again and again did give me a better uh, retention of i had better retention in terms of the material like i was able to remember things okay so particularly about chemistry like how did you manage to do chemistry in organic organic with so many of reactions every time different uh, solvent and the thin product is getting formed so right so actually i feel like the way chemistry is taught in je is not the way chemistry should be taught uh it is an experimental subject so i i was uh, so in my school there were a lot of, there was a good chemistry lab and i spent quite a lot of time over there so like i have experienced the reactions in real life and uh it is something fascinating i really i never hated chemistry like most say aspirants so uh <laughs> like yeah i didn't uh, i didn't find inorganic to be a burden it was something that i did to relax to be honest Ooh, like when nice. i was uh not feeling like being uh, intensively studying math or physics i just go to chemistry lie down on my bed read the reactions and sometimes write them as well so yeah it was uh, my fall back basically and uh, having like experience so like some people have to uh, you know spend a lot of time and stress upon their brain to remember that h2s has a rot- h2s has a rotten next smell <laughs> and i have smelled that and i had an, i had a headache for the entire day <laughs> and i remember that experience so even after so it's been almost a, it's been more than a year since i wrote j but still i remember this because i having experienced it uh, hell i guess right that's true and what used to be your daily schedule so uh i had one year of offline preparation one year of online preparation so there's a lot of variety uh during offline i used to have classes from 9 to 2 if i remember correctly or uh, no sorry 9 to 5 so yeah i used to wake up and the moment i uh, like i had to leave from home instantly after breakfast and getting fresh and then after i used to come back uh, so sometimes i used to stay back in my uh, or coaching and uh, study over there and then come back or sometimes i used to come back at home and usually i was quite tired so i'd say my offline preparation days were not as effective and uh, when online preparation started initially i used to slack a lot uh, so i wasted a lot of time during the initial couple of months but afterwards i got into a good schedule i used to wake up around uh, 8 and then study till around 11 11:30 at night and then relax for a little while uh, obviously i took a lot of breaks in between i didn't study continuously okay. so but still i averaged around 10 hours i guess 10 to 10 and a half hours i think uh, yeah and i used to relax and then sleep around 12 12:30 i didn't stay up late uh, like there are a lot of people who stay up late but uh, i was advised by one of my teachers that uh, like we may all have our natural schedules and some people are most more efficient at night some people can wake up at 4 and be very efficient but all of us are being uh, tested based on a, upon a standardized method that is the paper will be fixed from 9 to 12 and 2:30 to 5:30 right so that schedule is fixed and we all have to adhere to that so that is mm-hmm. why i sort sort of got into this schedule that my active hours should be around this time that's nice and uh tell me something about your coaching like how did you actually study so uh like uh to be honest coaching did not really have a huge role in my preparation uh mostly it was about my teachers and they were quite proactive in uh making sure that they're doing the best for each student in the batch and uh, that is what uh, helped all of us move forward i think 
So with the academic support during J time, we also need an emotional support. So who was the one for you? Uh, so uh, my maths professor uh, during my uh, in my coaching, he uh, I have had our long conversations with him sometimes. Uh, so yeah, like uh, having like most of the uh, people who are teaching and coaching, so they've been through uh, the same a similar thing, and they have taught a lot of students, like the faculty that have been teaching for around let's say five years or ten years at uh, a min as a minimum. They've seen a lot of uh, they've seen a variety of students. They've seen many different kind of students. So yeah, like they can. Uh, they have had like their experience matters and uh, especially for something like JE, uh, there's not a lot of room to experiment because the period of a period of two years is quite short and prep the preparation is very intensive. So yeah, having an experienced person around and ha like having their inputs and advice really helped me a lot. So uh, just tell me like, Whenever you had tests or something like, if you didn't score well in any of the tests, uh, what would be your first reaction? Like, was it like, ki yeah, test achane hua, or you used to be uh, working on that on um, next video? So right, uh, it depended. So if I uh, was confident that my test went well and it didn't go well, I uh, it used to affect me a bit. And then I didn't study for the entire day. <laughs> okay. uh, that is not something that I'd recommend though. But yeah, like I, I was quite moody during my preparation. So I largely did what I liked doing. And it had it was counterproductive, counterproductive sometimes. But yeah, like there are some people who can consistently work irrespective of their mood or their uh, like whatever is going on around them, irrespective of that. But yeah, I used to be a bit moody. Uh, like it depends. Like there are that, that's what I said. Each student is quite different. And to be honest, like the teachers know uh, what's best for each type of student. Uh, right. Anyway, getting back to the question. Sometimes like if I expected that the test uh, wasn't going to go well, like the result wouldn't be great. I was prepared beforehand. And uh, so I... Uh, like I had already started working upon the things that uh, affected me a lot during the test. Like if I'm not able to solve something, I at least know where that question is from. And I used to work upon that chapter or that area of the subject before the research itself sometimes. Good. And any suggestion particularly for any subject to the J aspirants? Uh, so for chemistry, regular revision is quite essential, uh, especially for uh, inorganic and organic. Um, for physics, mainly it's about using the fundamentals. So uh, getting that clear is quite necessary. And for maths, maths is just, uh, so it's quite interesting. And if you, I'm, I don't really know what to say about this. Like if you start getting math, you will be amazing at it. But sometimes uh, getting started is where people get stuck. Uh, instead of dealing with math emotionally, uh, if we think about it analytically, that helps, I guess. So this sticking was your to, favorite. Uh, I like. I liked all three of them a lot. <laughs> I can't really pick one. So like when I started, Jay, like I said, I was I had a feeling of giving up. So chemistry was my comfort subject because that was the only thing that I could do. But over time, I developed a huge liking for math and physics as well. So any particular preference for like 11th May physics person, high chemistry person, high 12th May other math person? 12th, uh, I started liking math a lot in 12th and largely over the first half of 11th, I liked chemistry and in between, like, uh, I still like mechanics a lot. And uh, so, yeah, I mean, I can't choose one. It's not easy. <laughs> okay, okay. So lastly, uh, what are your future goals? Uh, I am, uh, to be honest, I am not quite clear about that right now. And in some sense, I'm glad that I'm not because uh, there are a lot of opportunities after coming to IIT. 
you may like people hear about this before uh, itself like you know there are a lot of things that you can do in life mm-hmm. but after coming to iit i have realized that uh, and to be honest I, there are more opportunities than i thought uh, that there will be so yeah i'm uh, and the fact that i'm undecided right now is giving me a good uh, it's i ha- so i have a good mindset to explore Mm-hmm. and uh, so that's working right in my favor right now i think hopefully uh, like i said i'm not sure uh, so here we got a uh, more control over our life in some sense and we can feel that and sometimes it is a little confusing uh, but yeah i guess i'm trying to find my way okay so what explorations have you done till now right so i went so i tried different fields like i after coming to iit i didn't want studying to be my primary goal although mm-hmm. uh, they should be up to a certain level and i should be learning something all the time but yeah i've uh, st- i like i tried studying ml a bit and i got into div- like so i after coming to campus i played some sports for the first time in my life i played tennis for the first time in my life i played squash and hockey and i also went to some uh, so i i used to debate before and i also got i tried my hand at the debating society of iit kanpur and uh, i tried to pick uh, pick up my habit of reading again and i also uh, joined the public relations wing of uh, our cultural fest antaragni so i am trying different things and not just academic you know that's great and you know that public relations wing is actually responsible for bringing up some celebrities yeah. and taking care of them right so that's a huge responsibility for you people also you would that be getting is... to click photos with them <laughs> yeah <laughs> Okay, so what major change do you feel in yourself after coming into IIT, like from J preparation time, and what are you now? Ah, uh, so like I said, we just got a lot more control over our life. Uh, like, so here we we have control, to set our own boundaries control and control as in freedom. like uh, to be honest j e meant uh, J- the j e journey that i had was quite well mentored and my parents did give me freedom uh, like they never interfered with the way that i was studying or how much i was studying uh, there were times when my father used to ask me like uh, what are you doing and my mom used to say just let him do it he'll do it on his own in his own way uh so yeah like uh, but in some sense there was a direction like everybody is preparing for je advance this is the syllabus this is uh, what you have to do it's prescribed and everybody is following that but here there everybody is choosing their own path in life my friends are uh, doing competitive programming some of them are going into consulting and preparing presentations and giving them to other people some people are heavily investing in sports So yeah everybody is choosing what they want to do in life and sometimes choosing that can be very hard and confusing that is what i meant by control okay, so why should a student choose iit like any reason right. specific okay. for that so i'd say if you like if I, if somebody wa- actually wants to study to be honest they can study from anywhere uh but the thing about iit is is that they give you a lot of facilities and an amazing peer group and uh, somewhat of a competitive but he- but healthy atmosphere and this is what other institutes do not have so uh, getting this uh, is what uh, primarily makes iit is iit So thanks for your answers Sudhant it was a very nice session thank you for coming it was a pleasure thank you